get your take on broadcast media because Michelle, Miranda, and I, we all have backgrounds in the media. We've worked in local news and markets all over the country, some of us national news. And so I just wonder what your opinion is on news today, on the media today versus the past, and also why you choose to watch Real America's Voice. I mean, there's tons of choices for content out there. Why do you choose RAV? Well, I, I think if you just look at what happened on Fox News last night, it was an opportunity that the Murdochs took to create narrative and actually create a political story going forward by a make-believe debate between two people who will never be president of the United States in an effort to drive focus away from Donald Trump. Clear and simple. Mm. It was absolutely mm. nothing than that. They're writing a script. Their actors acted out on TV. When I was a little boy, my mom used to sit down every day after lunch and watch, watch what she called the stories. Mm. Well, now we put on MSDNC and Fox News, and that's the soap opera that's played out for us every mm. day. The re reason I watch Real America's Voice is just the opposite of that. Real America's Voice wants an informed viewer. They give you all the information you need to make an actual informed decision for yourself. And then they couple it along with the interactivity of the chat that gives all of us an idea to bounce ideas off of one another. No one else has even attempted to do it. In fact, there are others uh, that try to present themselves as a rival to Real America's Voice that when you check them out on Get Getter, the very first thing you'll notice is that the chat button is disabled. Mm. Because they don't care what you have to say. That's, that's a good point. Yeah, that's that's the whole story right there. 